Alongside vaccine development, Australian researchers are also looking at potential treatments for COVID-19. They're focusing on repurposing existing medicines, including blood pressure drugs and even one treatment used for tapeworm. Medical reporter Sophie Scott explains. In this Melbourne lab, researchers are testing whether a Japanese flu drug can treat COVID-19. This drug was kept in reserve actually in Japan um, in case a new pandemic flu strain came along. It stops the virus making a new version of itself. It's one of more than 20 potential COVID treatments in clinical trials across the country. Many scientists are repurposing existing medications to fight COVID once it takes hold. The trials include a pancreatitis drug called nafemostat and a tapeworm medication called neclozamide. I think it is a massive advantage if you can find a drug that may have some benefits that's already been used and studied. One in each nostril. At the Peter McCallum Cancer Centre, they're looking at whether inhaling an antiviral called interferon could help, as well as trialling two cancer drugs. There's a long history of using interferon to try and prevent viral infections in the lung. We know for many years it's been looked at to prevent uh, influenza and there's some good data around that. The George Institute is testing the use of common blood pressure medications in vulnerable people. What these agents will do is firstly, potentially reduce entry of the virus into the cells, but then also secondarily, they're going to reduce inflammation and reduce scarring. And while the treatments might work in a lab or in animals, they don't always work in humans. It's really important to understand that just because it's in a trial doesn't mean it works. The only treatment that's shown to work is a steroid called dexamethasone for seriously ill patients. They were shown to be very effective in preventing people from dying. While the world waits for vaccines to be fully rolled out, the search for effective COVID-19 treatments remains as important as ever, as vaccines are unlikely to be 100% effective. In the meantime, prevention through social distancing, hand washing and masks is much better than cure. Sophie Scott, ABC News.